Hey, we're Skipping Aces. I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. What do we have today? We have Laws. A flight. Formerly 80 Laws. Yeah, I believe so. I've noticed that I always call them 80 Laws, I but then too. I noticed the labels on the paper label on the bottle now just Jeez. says Laws. So they must have went through some marketing updates recently. Or AD's gone. Kicked off the label. Yeah, so we got these cute little samples that came in a little box, and there's uh, four of their standard releases. I think it's cute. Yeah, I really, they're kind so of a cute shape, but they also got these little um, synthetic stoppers, which oh, makes it... It's just like so adorable. It's kind of fun. I yeah. noticed uh, that... Dis I don't know how wide distribution for Laws is, but I noticed that they're I believe even cool. our friends in Michigan are able to get yeah. them. So I don't think it's that limited. So we're excited. We have a bourbon, a rye, a wheat, and a malt. So, our bourbon is on our left, and I think that's where we should start. Um, I know my directionals. These are all two, at least two years. I noticed on the, um, according to the bottle and the packaging, mm -hmm. on their website it says three years is now one of their minimums. So yeah. I don't know if they um, are trying to increase the age on their product, and this is just one of the early re earlier releases that is younger. But who's to know? They do have a six-year-old bourbon that I was very interested in. No, I remember you said um, the bourbon was a 60, 20, 10, 10. Yeah, because it's, so it's, um, it's a four grain bourbon. It's one of those oats. No? That would be different, but... I forget. I don't believe so. It I think it smells, smells a little oat. I think it's the standard corn, rye, wheat, and barley. So let's get into the nose that you think is... Oh, these are all 47%. Uh, it does have a crafty note that we perceive as oatmeal uh, yeah. or oaty. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely a crafty note. But it's not like an oatmeal cookie like I want to eat one. Oaty. It's it like it tastes like raw oats, like you take you know yeah. those um instant oats or even the quick oats that you t uh, you can if you, that come in a tube, take yeah. off the top yeah, and yeah. get a dusty totally right. That's note. what it is. Yeah. That's I wonder if that equates to youthfulness. Because they, they do a 53 so. gallon. They don't they do, do the smaller ones. They do do a 53. I don't know how to eliminate the process of that one. I think it might just be a youthful green. It's so weird that there's no oats, but yet it has oat on the nose. And then Spirits of French, like if that does have oat in some of theirs, you yeah. could smell the oats. I don't know how but, old they are. Ah, that's, it's so weird. So maybe it's a youth no, maybe It's a science it's a, thing. Maybe it's these heirloom I'm not, grains I'm not that are person. different. I know they are using all, I think all of their grains are they use are grown in Colorado. That's where Laws is. It's Odie on the palate. Okay. What I get on the nose is on the palate, like 100%. Like, it's all there. Mm -hmm. There's a, okay, on the finishing, I'm not sure what that is. It's a little bit of... I get a little pepper. I do have to say it has a creaminess to it. It's got a great texture. It's not thin. Mm -hmm. I like that part. It's 47%, which is nice. Yes. I didn't go all the way down to 43 or 40. But it's not, okay, it ha has a spice to it, but it's not overwhelming. Like, you can drink this and not have a problem. Like, I'm not having this buildup of heat. It's there, but this oat nose that I'm getting, and then on the palate, I'm just getting it throughout. I'm wondering if it's, I don't know. I'm so confused. It doesn't taste like a bourbon. Not at all. It tastes more like a... American, like a generic, like American whiskey, it doesn't taste like a bourbon to me. I'm trying to get past um, the note of that oats, oats to see what yeah. else I can get because it's that's all that I'm picking up once that it's in my head. Yeah, there's something else there though. I get pepper on the finish. Besides the oat, I'm getting almost like a clean, you know, like when you go to like that was that Yankee Candle or whatever, and they mm -hmm. have like fresh linen or something. Like it doesn't smell like the fresh linen, but like a, one of those clean, I don't get that, not laundry, but like clean, fresh air. Like, it's behind the oats. Like a thin honey in the front. In the front, like that's the sweetness I'm getting. Is a light honey, not not something like super thick. There is thick. a sweetness, but I can't. Yeah. Qu I can't. Um. Little barrel with mm -hmm. that oat on the finish and some pepper. Um, I don't know if I'm getting a little fruitiness or what that um, no. that cleanness. Like, what if that's a citrus zest? Maybe, and I equate citrus to like I'm thinking bright, happy, shiny. Mm -hmm. I, I don't clean. I have like weird. No, it's fine. Descriptors. It makes sense. I get a tinge of bitterness. It's a little bit, but I think that's the barrel. Yeah. Okay, but like a barrel bitter. Yeah, okay. that's a little bit, but it doesn't stick out to me as so much as that. I this is it's weird to me because I expected it to be a little bit more bourbony. Me too. But I I really don't 
know it's unique. Okay. Since we have three more, I say let's keep it, keep the show on the she road. Said, shut up and keep drinking. Some rye. It smells like a rye. It smells what? like mm. a minty rye. <laughs> with a little baby foam? With a little, I don't get baby foam, I get herbal, like maybe some dill. This is 95.5 rye. It does not have a nose like a 95.5 rye. It is, um, at least on the ones that we don't remember what standard they, MGK I don't remember if they stated the what rye, it's definitely rye. varietal they're using, but no, this is something, it's, it's different. It's got a softness. It's not floral. It's not a herbal on the nose. There's something else that's different. It's a soft, pillowy blanket rye. Right? I'm not getting like um, spice. I got pepper right on the like a chili right on the finish. Maybe coming off of um, this, I'm not. Well, I should probably have water in between. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of the heat now. Sometimes you have salsa and it says mild in it. And you think it's mild, but after like stuffing your face and just shoveling it in there for like five or six little bites, laugh. you're like, oh shit. And then like, you're like, my lips are they still attached? Like I got lipo or something and it's like, Botox, lipo's opposite. Okay. Yeah, Botox lip. Yeah, lipo weird. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm getting that. Okay, you said that we, first we got it oat, and then you said you got it clean. I'm getting that weird cleany, that clean sensation mm -hmm. on the back of this one. That was only on the nose, oh. not on the palate. There's something uh, um, um, unusual on the finish. This, this is, is the most greeny. unusual 95.5 rye I've ever had. It's very grainy. They're so uh, grainy. They're, they're both grainy, mm -hmm. but I almost kind of have a slight... The thing that I'm perceiving as oat is coming through as well on this. So I don't know if it's, definitely it's the youth, I think. I don't, it could be the youth because I mean, it's the 95 fiber rye is completely different between this mash bill. Yeah. Is it the cooperage of how the barrels are? Is it the yeast strains? What is it? I believe I remember hearing that they do some pressurization and temper control in the warehouse to try to kind of accelerate the contact, the in and out of, of the barrel mm -hmm. because the Colorado uh, weather is a little mild, oh. so they I think they do stuff with um, pressurizing warehouse. So maybe that kind of forcedness gives it a little what we're picking up as a grain yeah. note. So maybe mm -hmm. it's something that has to do with the process of aging it. It doesn't have mint. It doesn't have like I get herbal on it though, but it's like a soft. It's got more sweetness than the traditional rye. So. I don't know if I would recommend this to people that are bourbon drink or rye drinker, bourbon drinkers, the rye, sure. because this doesn't drink like a rye. Um, but I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying that it's not going to convert people. I'm to getting drink a, rye. I'm getting an unusual herbal, like almost, almost like a cooking herb, almost like basil or something. Like eucalyptus. Oh, maybe that's what it is. I thought it was basil at first. I was like, I'm confused. This reminds me of this one part that we used to play Lily oh, you at, can smell it. and that's what I'm getting as like a memory in that eucalyptus stuff. I could see that because eucalyptus yeah. is very, it's minty. Yeah, to me. But so, it, but I, I could smell, it. I could smell mint. It's the weirdest thing. It's, it's so weird. That's definitely herbal. I get pepper in the finish. But it's sure. it's not herbal like will it rye. It's it's, it's different. a different herbal. That's why I said almost basil. But it's not going to convert eucalyptus. someone to drink rye. I'll, I'll, I will agree with eucalyptus. Um, There's the, something different. The next up is their wheat. I cannot Ooh. remember the mash bill. I'm totally blanking. I don't think this is the 100% wheat. This smells like, oh my god, maple buns. I don't get that. Dang buns, it. Han. Yeah. There's a sweetness that okay. reminds I, me. Oh, you know those nope, fake I get ones it. that you uh -huh. get like in a vending machine that look so delicious but they're not yep I get that's it. what they smell like and if food smells that good it usually isn't if it's coming from yeah it's almost cheese. like a fake honey but you still get the breadiness of yes. the roll i'm not getting really i'm not getting cinnamon but i'm definitely getting no no no, no i'm not getting yeah but the pastry sweetness is, is slightly reminding me of more of a maple but we're not talking like maple syrup on a pancake no just we're talking about the fake, buns that yeah fake. that fake yeah should we have water before this or should we just go for it i'm just gonna go for it because that really wasn't Mm -hmm. I got grains in my mouth. 
I usually like um, the whole grains to be cooked. Oh, it was a little intense. Excuse me, I'm gonna try one more time. There's a note about halfway through that I is, um, oh, it's got nice. See, okay, I do have to say no, what no, we've no. gone through, there's one thing that I do have to say the that I like. Is great. Texture. It just, for, um, that, that mapleness went away. Mm-hmm. Now it's just all grains. Mm -hmm. What happened to the maple? Mm -hmm. They've been sitting out the, the same amount of time. This is actually, though, I have to say, a step up above from the bourbon. Because it's got a sweetness, and not that barrel bitter. Oh, there is not as much bitter. Yeah. Agreed. But the sweetness that has replaced that bitterness is kind of weird. Saccony. It's almost, I was about to say artificial. Mm -hmm. Like forced. Animal. Like forced, yeah. Equal. Yeah, it's like you put a little equal in there. I don't mm -hmm. know why you would do that. That's not Okay, nice. now I'm going to take, oh, okay, that, I just got a whiff. That was odd. It's a malt. That is a weird malt. Yeah. I don't know the mash bill. Dang it, I should have wrote the mash bill down. You know how I you, you clean it. a palate with something? You should be able to clean a nose with something. You can you can uh, sniff your elbow. You can sniff, um, yeah. If you smell yourself, uh, it helps elbow kind of. Smells? Well, it's just because that's an easy place accessible to your body is. Oh, okay. Well, I thought I was like, I was like, I can't. Oh. I can't. I can't smell my elbow. No, the inside. I smell clean linen. I know. If you didn't have, Freshly if you didn't have a long sleeve shirt on, I I give up. Just drink your whiskey. Okay, so I'm going to try this again. I like malted barley. I love scotch. I don't mm. love the snows. There's something on it that's making me. Uh, okay, you know what this reminds me of? It's. Is it? Do they just want to give us oatmeal in a glass? Is that they all smell like that really harsh, youth but note? Oats cooking. On the stove top with just water. I don't know. I'm scared of this one actually. I'll go first, okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna watch your face. Am I having more grains? It's more grain. Oh no. It's very grainy. And it's got that weird artificial it's, tang. It smells extra uh -huh. grainy. Tastes um, good. Oh god. Well, do I get extra credit? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Wait, what's my gosh of credit? Mm hmm. I was hoping that we would like this or something. The, the rye's not bad, but I don't think I would drink it because there's so hmm. many easily accessible I, um Have you ever had just like spaghetti, just raw while it's hard before you... Yeah, it's not great. Because you're an idiot. You're like, oh, what does this taste like? It's terrible. Yeah, where it's got that weirdness, where it's grainy. And it cuts, it's a little dusty kinda on almost, the It kind of reminded me of it a little bit, but... It was so weird. I, I totally understand. It smells like a bunch of, um... Okay. When you smell this, yeah, so you know weird. what it reminds me? You know when you go to Sprouts or some, like, it, uh, yoga... Yeah, like, and they have that uncovered, hippie, like... dippy place where they got those bins that you can mm. scoop up. Just yeah, like and then you This can is what it smells like. Yeah. Like, someone opened a barrel of just... Grains or... Healthy Cereal stuff. or... Yeah. Like, steel-cut oats with flour. I think this is maybe, mm -hmm. um... Whiskey for yoga people. <laughs> Whiskey for yoga people? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It just feels... I think we're just going to drop that off right there. Move on. It's like the whiskey is trying to remind me to eat whole grains. That's what it is. And it's kind of um, strange. I eat cereal that have whole grains. Don't, don't drink this. Don't drink it. I don't know why my whiskey is telling me to... I, more grains. Okay. I don't know a lot of people that have tried it. Like, I haven't really heard anything. I've just seen it. So I know of one that's it. very popular channel that absolutely loves laws. Well, then that's their palate. Yeah, but that is they're a primary... very similar. There's a grainy note throughout all, yeah. but just in varying differences. And maybe that's their but jam. But they were picking up some amazing notes of, um, of tea and stuff like that. And I was hoping to get that because I'm excited. <sighs> To pick out tea in a note, they were getting tea off of okay. bourbon. I don't know. I just um, okay. So I I respect it, but it's not something maybe, I like. If you like eating raw grains, that there you go. So these are so our cute little bottles though. Cute little bottles. So our flight is about, they're about two years apiece, and I would say you can definitely tell tell the age on it. So maybe we should try the six year bourbon. 
I gonna do with all of these? They're cute as heck. I don't know. I'm gonna try the the rye is actually less green forward. That was the left. That yeah. That was out of all of these. I think that was the most. But it has to. It has a really rye nose, like rye bread. It's nose. opening up a little bit, but it. But it this smells mm. like dark rye bread to me. It really does. I like rye pumpernickel bread. I like it. That's what this smells like. Ex except for that little slight mellow eucalyptus note to it, I'm not. This is the less, least offensive. Yes, getting as so much of a strong rye. This is the most standard product they have in this little variety pack. It's unfortunately it's very youthful. So, have you guys me. had laws or anything else that they put out as a distillery in Colorado? Please give us a comment below and let us know what's your impression of laws. Do you think when they dropped the AD, AD took all the good stuff? I don't think there's that much difference in um, impression from what I've gathered. I'm, try I'm trying to give the them uh, an out. Yeah. Like, I do like the- took his best recipe. Maybe. I do like the texture for being only 46%. It has mm -hmm. a nice uh, silkiness to it, so that's great. The rye, I would say, is probably the most traditional out mm -hmm. of their lineup, which is unfortunate. I was kind of excited to try their malt. Don't the, like it. Um, the wheat is just not at, Okay, the wheat is number two. Um, let me try the wheat one more time. You can yeah. see that I barely drink Because it, it's very similar to the bourbon, but it doesn't have that, um, barrel. Um, there is, there is, one of our stores does have a finished, a finished in honey. I'm trying to equate how that would work because these already have like a sweetness to it of like a saccharine. I don't know how that honey would. I don't think I'm interested. I don't. I don't know if I want my oats mm. dipped in honey. I would have to. Oats. I would have to try Green. the six-year bourbon to see if that grainy note starts to age out, and then I'd be interested. Well, it's a try. So try. give us a like if you like what we're doing. Subscribe to our channel so you yep. can join us in our next video. And I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go find a whiskey I fancy. Ooh, I like this fancy. And if you've tried this, this if you tried this brand or this distillery, just which do you like? Yeah. What do you like about it? What's what's wrong with our palettes on this? Or is it just all wrong? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a ride. I, I, I fancy this whiskey. I almost scared myself. I realized I, I had them all. Oh, that'd be bad. Cheers. Cheers.